Today I want to talk about one of my favorite topics these days that I cannot shut up about and it is creativity. Now creativity and I have not always had the best relationship. In fact growing up and into my 20s I always said and my mantra was I don't have a creative bone in my body. I thought that because I couldn't pull things out of the air and create beauty or paint or draw or write music that I just wasn't creative. And now I know that that is just not true. In my 30s, I started to develop a little bit better relationship with creativity. I was in marketing and PR and publishing at the time, and I would have flashes of creativity that I was like, okay, yeah, all right, well, maybe I'm, I do have some creativity going on. But as I was approaching 40, I found myself in this place of being very stuck in life. I'd been in a 15-year career, I was in a 10-year relationship, and these things just weren't working for me anymore. Don't know why, but they just stopped working, and I was stuck. So creativity to me was just, just like basically ground to a halt. And then I would say in my 40s, you know, my creativity was kind of steady eddy. It was neither here nor there. Until, until... I was told in order to publish a book about all my crazy adventures, I needed to have a platform. And I learned about a year ago how to use Instagram and TikTok and YouTube and start creating like I create. I think one of the most helpful things I did early on was I started carrying around a little notebook. Actually, this little notebook. And I started carrying it with me in my purse everywhere I went. And just having this notebook in my purse had my brain and my being just kind of tune in to the notion that I was creative and that I would have flashes of thoughts for my book and for my book proposal for content and that I could just write it down right away and then just have it out of my mind. And I think this just kind of trained my energy field to just get in this flow. Kind of like, you know, you're in a river and you're just dropping the oars and you're just going through this stream. Creativity is like that. I think the other thing I've come to learn with creativity is that I don't, I, I can't set results. I can't set goals for myself with it. That creativity is not linear. Just because you're creative doesn't mean you're gonna get a book, doesn't mean you're gonna get a film deal, doesn't mean you're gonna get, um, you know, uh, an exhibit in uh, the Met. You know, it, it's not, it, it's, it, the creativity is not linear. It's just, it's an energy and it can take you to all kinds of magical places and experiences and adventures in life. And sometimes I've gotten frustrated that my platform isn't growing fast enough or that I'm not getting the opportunities that I thought I would have or wanted to have. And I just have to say time out. The most important thing here is that I am getting up and having fun creating all day long. That's the most important thing. And that's what I want to focus on and just know and trust that the results are going to take care of themselves. So creativity for me is just, it is a very felt sense in my body. And I think so much um, potential is, is in embodying things. And, and for me, it just feels like all of my cells are alive. They're all just waving and happy. They're pulsating with just this, this force of life. Um, and it, it, things are always evolving and it's just like, I'm just plugged into this current. And some might say that's God, God, current, God, energy, divine. I totally believe this. In fact, one of the best books I read recently was this book by Elizabeth Gilbert, Big Magic. It's all about creativity. And I think one of the coolest concepts too that I got from this book is that she talks about creativity as um, and creative and ideas as having their own like individual consciousness. And so creative ideas are out there in the ethers. They're out there in the universe and they go to people and it's like, they kind of like, you know, like they knock on the door and they're like, Hey, you know, here's this idea. Do you want to take it or not? And then we have a choice point of whether we can take the idea and run with it. Or if we say no to it, or we just never get around to it, that creative idea can sometimes and will often go find another body to inhabit and happen. That's why, you know, she says in this book, why sometimes let's say, I'm going to pull an example out of my butt. I don't even know that this is one, like the invention of penicillin, like maybe like 20 people had the same idea. And again, this is not fact, but I'm just pulling this out. You know, maybe 20 people had the same idea because again, the idea is out there. And if someone didn't act on it, then the idea is gonna go find someone that can activate it. And so someone is gonna be a front runner with this information. So you can, you know, she talks about some really wild examples in here about the same book idea that she had as other creators of the same kind of book concept, just really weird shit because she just never got around to writing that one book. So I love that notion and, and it has me paying more attention to when ideas come my way 
and um, to being more astute as to whether I'm going to decide to act on them or not act on them. And if I decide not to act on them, it's kind of like I bless them on their way and I'm confident that they're going to find another human being that's going to help express that same creative idea. One thing I do know, though, is that being stuck in life and um, playing the role of like a good person all the time and people pleasing really uh, cut me off and cuts me off from my creativity. Um, I am my best when I am just like I have endless amounts of time during the day to just be in this creative mode. I, it's just really literally like plugging in a socket and then this stuff just flows and also not being so concerned about what people think of me, about how they judge me and just freedom. Freedom is such a key piece to creativity. I'd love to hear more from you about what creativity means.